Hi everyone, this is Mike at Brash Monkey. In a previous video, I showed you how to import a Spriter file into Construct2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your Spriter file in Construct2. For example, if you've added new animations or tweaked animations or added new images for the uh, Spriter file to use. So here I am inside Construct2, and what I highly recommend for your projects is to actually create a frame specifically for importing your Spriter files into, and I've done that here with this frame called Spriter, and you'll see it's an empty frame other than the, uh, the sprites that it imports when you import the uh, Spriter file, and um, give that frame its own event sheet. In my case, I also called that Spriter, and this has two events in it. One is the actual um, event that is generated automatically by construct when you import a spriter file and the other is an event that uh, I create um, on my own which I'll explain in a minute. So one really important thing to understand is that all of the sprites that are automatically created uh, when you import a spriter uh, file uh, only need to be in one single frame in your construct project. They do not need to be in every frame uh, for your project that they're going to appear. Uh, and the same is even true for the spider, uh, the spider object itself that's created, in my case called player spider. Um, it doesn't need to eventually be in all of the game level files, but you don't want to just put it there yet. So when you initially import your spider file into your construct project, what you're going to end up with is, as I said, this event in your Spriter event sheet that initializes all of the sprites relative to that uh, Spriter object. And then what you want to do is go into the actual event sheet you have set up for your playable levels in your game. In my, in my case it's called level events and you'll see that right up at the top I have my Spriter event sheet included, which means that uh, it runs these events as well. And that's where we get to this event that I added manually, which is on start of layout, create the Spriter object onto the appropriate layer. Okay, so what this does, I don't have the Spriter object to begin with in all of my player levels. I only have it in the Spriter frame. Okay, and by making this, making that event in the uh, Spriter event sheet, it while the uh, the frame is starting up, it's going to create that needed object for me. Uh, and because it is a member, because all of the sprites are a member of one, let me find it. You'll see that it's in a container. associated with all of the sprites it requires. So by creating one of these things, you create all of the other things needed to finish it off, to finish that container, so to speak. Uh, so all we have to do is have that one event that creates the spriter object and all of the sprites follow suit. And the really nice thing about that is it allows us to edit all of our sprites in only one place, in only one frame, and not having to worry about these changes being updated or updating manually these changes in all of the other frames. Okay, so back in Spriter, let's say I've just made additional animations or tweaks to animations or added new art into animations. Uh, for the sake of this demo, I just put some uh, uh, kind of nonsense things up here over the idle animation of the player in all the frames so that you can see, uh, you'll see it when it appears in the when I update it in Construct2. And then I just saved uh, my project as both the SM SCML uh, format and the SCON format. Same thing, save projects as, but you just choose .SCON. Save it with the same exact name as before. And when you're ready to import, the one thing you have to do, uh, there's a, a few small steps, uh, the first thing you do is just go ahead and delete uh, 
here under projects in the spider animations, delete the SC1 version. There we go. And then the next thing to do is to select the spider object, which in my case is called player spider. And remember, it's only in this one place, so you'll only have to do it here. Uh, change that back. If you've seen in uh, the past video on how to import in the first place, once you're done importing, you have to rename this and the properties to SCON instead of SCML. But to re-import, for now at least, you need to rename it back to SCML. All right, and now that that's done, if we go into the folder where the spider file is found, we only need to drag in the SCML, and it'll uh, let us know what's going on. There's already a file imported with that name. Do you want to basically update it? Yes. And then you make sure you choose the Spriter um, event sheet. Click OK. And it's processing. You can see it's working on getting uh, the new sprites in. There are the new sprites that were added. Um, it has been updated and the new events uh, to initialize is in the event sheet and I should delete the old one. So now I click OK and I go into the Spriter event sheet, which is here, and the event lowest um, on the sheet is the new one, which you'll be able to see has the latest Sprite images added to the bottom. So I'm going to delete this older version of that initialization event. And now that that's tidied up and everything's re-imported, I just need to choose the Spriter object again, go down to its properties and change that back to SCON. And now when we play the uh, play an actual uh, level of the game, we should see the updated idle animation. And here we are back in the game level with the updated animation with the other images floating above his head. Uh, playing as it should be in the game. And if for some reason your uh, updated Spriter file is not showing up in the game, make sure in the Spriter, in order for it to work uh, with Construct2 under Other File Actions, again, make sure Custom Save Options are both checked off. So yes, you want to save Spriter object frame data, and yes, save initial animation position as absolute values. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching.